one. I'm trying to make. You have to forgive the lighting in this. I'm I'm using sunlight. I haven't really perfected the lighting thing, so I'm gonna look like a vampire the whole time that I'm talking here. So just hang in there, okay? Later I'll try to fix this, but I have time today to do these videos, and I'm gonna try to implement them as best as I can. What I'm actually here to speak with you about is I am a life coach. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. I love what I do. And the reason I do it is I love helping people. I like to help them physically. I'm a personal trainer. Mentally, I do a lot of meditation. I'm a life coach. I try to help them solve problems and reduce stress. And I'll try to motivate them to be everything they can and not accept the mental barriers that keeps them from being person that we need to all be in one form or another. Spiritually, I cannot tell you how to live spiritually. I do believe there is a God. I, that's all I'm going to tell you now. I'm, if you are actually seeing me as my client and you ask me my opinion about my spirituality, I will tell you my spirituality. But as of that, I mean, for me, for me or for anyone else, it's not our position to tell you spiritually who you should be. If you have questions though, I don't have any problems talking to you on a personal level, but as a professional level, I do have an issue with forcing my intentions and religion onto you as no one has that right, even myself. Uh, dealing with others is something else I work, work with because even as a hypnotherapist, a lot of it is subjected to interpretation when people talk to you, there's different forms of com communication. Ninety percent of the communication that we have is not even verbal communication. It is actually sixty percent of it is body language. Thirty percent of it is how we say it, and ten percent of it is actually the words. And behind that, there is a meaning of where they're trying to direct you in conversations, and that's not only with a single person. It is with a group as well. And then with security, there's different forms of security. There's life security, um, such as physical defense. Um, what would be another one? Self-defense, such as if a house is on fire, you have to get out of the house because you can't live in a fire. There's immediate securities is what I'm referring to. And, th and then as a... Uh, more securities. I do work with a lot of professionals that specialize in different forms of business and investments and whatnot. I do not implement that. I'll show you these personally. I usually bring them in on a retainer and I let them speak with you or I ask them to come and give us speeches and whatnot. But I always try to make sure I have some way to help you exceed your own expectations and become more than what you are there. We always need to grow because if we're not growing, the world is growing and we are shrinking. So we should always look to not only become more than what we are, we should not be afraid of change. We should not be afraid of who we are. We should not be afraid of what we're going from. Anyway, my website is drakedemay.com. That's D-R-A-K, no Ian Drake. So that's D-R-A-K. D E M A Y dot com. I have um, ways you can get a hold of me. I have emails there that you can get a hold of me at. I have phone numbers that you can reach me at. And you can always reach me either on Facebook or LinkedIn dot com under Drake the May as well. D R A K, no E, D E M A Y. I'm sorry, it's D R A K, D E M A Y. Other than that, I hope that you're blessed. I hope that you're enjoying being blessed, and I hope you're not letting distractions in your life keep you from being happy, because life is about more than just about survival. It's also about enjoying the trip and being a blessing to others and help them learn to be more of a, enjoy more of what they're doing in their life as well. Anyway, I'm going to make some more of these, and uh, that way, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Don't hesitate to contact me. Try to do it, though, if you're going to call at a reasonable hour. I don't answer the phone except for, you know, the business. I don't answer the business phone after an appropriate time becomes upon the day. Sometimes I do leave early. Sometimes I do leave late. 
but I'm usually a normal person when it comes to business, and I live in the central time zone. Be blessed, and other than that, uh, be the blessing. Thank you again. Bye-bye.